Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to do five easy effects here in Premiere Pro. We're going to start with a double exposure effect. Getting started, we have a couple of video clips here in our timeline. We're going to take this second clip, place it on top of the first, go up to opacity. Here where it says blend mode, we're going to go from normal to screen. We're then going to take the opacity down to about 85%. Let's play through that video clip and see what it looks like. So moving on, this next effect will be a basic flicker effect. As you can see, we have two video clips here in the timeline. Make sure that you select your razor tool, make a cut somewhere on the timeline, use your right arrow key to move over one frame, make another cut. Continue doing this until you have enough cuts for the effect. You can make this as long or as short as you would like. Once you've cut out several frames, go back and delete every other frame. So the effect will flicker back and forth between the two clips and the timeline. Playing it back, this is what it will look like. Now if you remove that bottom clip, when you play the video back, it will look like this. As the editor, it's completely up to you which of these two techniques you like the best. Creating a camera flash here in Premiere Pro is relatively easy. Getting started, we have a clip of video here in our timeline. Click on it. Go up here to the export frame. Click on that. Make sure that the format is in PNG. Make sure to click on import into project. Click OK. That will then bring the clip into the project. Take that clip, put it on the timeline. Let's go ahead and bring this down to about right there. Click on that clip, go up to opacity. Let's take it down to 50. We'll take scale up to 150%. And it's as easy as that. And when we play it back, this is what it will look like. Yeah, we're gonna do a simple glow effect. And getting started, we have a video clip here in our timeline. We're going to make sure that we highlight that clip, go up here to our effects, and type in Find Edges. Double click on that Find Edges to add it to the timeline. Go over to Find Edges in your effect control panel and check off that Invert box. And it already looks pretty cool. From here, we're going to go back to Effects, type in Tint again, double click on that to add it to our timeline. Here under Map White 2, I'm going to pick a blue, add that. Finally, we will type in VR Glow, double click that, add that to the timeline. Go down to Luma Threshold, 0.20, Glow Brightness, let's bring that up to 3. Let's play through the clip and see what it looks like. And as easy as that, you've put a glow effect on your video here in Premiere Pro. For our last effect, we're going to do a simple reverb effect here in Premiere Pro. Now, the first thing we're going to do is find the point in the video that you want the reverb effect to start, make a cut, move over a few frames, make another cut. At this point, move the last clip over a little bit, copy this clip a couple of times. You want to have three copies. Move into the middle, Command R to bring up your speed. Hit reverse speed, click OK. Let's take this in clip, move it back over. Playing through it, it should look something like this. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future Premiere Pro tutorials.